Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now, in today's video we are back with a gameplay. Now, a little bit of explanation because it has been quite a while since I've actually posted a relatively high standard or high tier gameplay. And that is, one, this game's shit. And two, there's not really been a good playlist in order for me to get a good gameplay. Because like, yeah, Chaos Control came back, I think. What day is it today? It's Thursday. Game back maybe is I think Tuesday or something. Oh, but the thing is I wasn't in the featured. And when modes are not in the featured, this, the lobbies don't tend to be really that good. Because I mean the featured is what shows up on the first page. Which is all where the noob, like the proper noobiest of the noob kids. Like the 0.01 KD kids. That's what they select. Because they don't really know how to scroll along. They like going to TDM or free for all or domination or whatever they want to play. So... We tend to just go on the featured. And also the feature this week is Endurance. And I'm thinking, oh, that's actually a pretty good game mode. Honestly, it's one of my most hated game modes on, to ever release. I can't stand Endurance. It's I just really don't like it at all. It just doesn't have a good flow. And there's always a sweaty team. Like I've never had a good lobby of Endurance where I can just slay out and get like a 50, 60, 70 plus gun streak. It just never works because there's always one kid on the other team who feels the need to sweat. He's, I, mean, I check his stats after the game, he's got like a 2.5. He thinks he's sick for having a 2.5 KD. So, you know, it, it just be like that sometimes. So, that's why I don't really like endurance. Now, another reason why I haven't been really making videos is because I've been grinding my ass off to get 1k. Now, if you don't know, I was pretty sweaty at this game up until about maybe Chaos Control went. I got Prestige Master within a month of the game being released, then kind of played casually up until about 400, just kind of sweating here and there, and then I took a break from the game and played Blackout, got the like Echelon 76, and then um, played a little bit more till about maybe around 450, and then, what was it, uh, Chaos Control came out, and then I did 250 levels in that week of Chaos Control, because there was such an XP farm and I was actually having fun on the game, and then we removed it and the game went back to being shit again. So. Now I'm back here, I'm currently as of making this video level 991, so yeah, I'm nearly there, that's why I haven't been making videos because literally all I've been doing is playing the game just so I can get 1k, just so I can get it over with and then I don't need to really sweat for levels anymore, I can just hop on, get the gameplay I want if possible and hop off because I really don't enjoy playing this game in its current state now update 1.13 is just around the corner so that hopefully emphasis on the hopefully makes this game fun i thinking jack what does this game need to be fun now i've made a few rant videos on this and a few like actual suggestions but long story short the hater situation does this game need a hater? No, it doesn't need a hater. Would it be nice? Of course it would. World War 2 would have probably been a lot more enjoyable game with a hater. So, yes, this game would be relatively nice with a hater, but it doesn't need one. If UAVs were 30 seconds instead of 20 seconds like we are now, and Ghost was either not in the game or a level 50 plus unlock, that would be fine. Because obviously no low level noobs can use Ghost and I doubt many people would take it through. It would obviously see a lot less usage because I mean Ghost right now is unlocked at like level 3 so 90% of play. Honestly I'd say a realistic um, like guess for how many people use Ghost I'd say it's around 80%. Almost everyone uses Ghost. So I'd say if UAVs were about 30 seconds Ghost was actually nerfed or like removed or whatever. This game does not need a hater, but since in this game there's so much stupid aidsy stuff, what can actually happen to you? Like specialists, like oh, for example, dog, mesh mine, talk, Ajax, Prophet, there's like reactor core, there's so much annoying stuff what can happen. Having a hater would make it a little bit more bearable. Like for example, if you had a hater, you would like be able to dodge well for the most part, you'd be able to pre-aim more gunfights, which would eliminate the chances of you getting absolutely slapped by body armor or a titan because you obviously pre pre aiming it. And it would like well, in my opinion it would just make the game more fun because I'm a pub stomper, I'm a good 
quote unquote good player, I like to do well and I hate it enables me to do that more of the time and I get lots of comments on Twitter and Reddit saying oh, Jack you can't play without a hater <laughs> you only want a hater so you can do well why don't you just get better well it's not really like that is it because I'm decent at this game I've played up to nearly level a thousand holding a 4.1 EKIA now I don't think that that's too bad of stats it's not great but I don't think it's too bad so to say for me to just get better rather than like when I've suggested a legitimate suggestion of what I think should be changed within this game is a bit rich for, for coming from people who don't even have nuclears, double nuclears, triple nuclears. Like I can do well with the stuff provided in this game. I'd just do a hell of a lot better if it was a hater or if UAVs weren't complete ass. And people say, ooh, but Vision Pulse is your hater. Shut up. It's not. To compare Recon to a hater is honestly it's just my how can anyone compare it they're nothing alike the sensor dark can be avoided by ghost the vision pulse can be avoided by ghost you can't avoid a hater with ghost and for example like yeah you get a free three times a match vision pulse four with equipment charge if you're lucky you get a hater for 45 seconds and you know what's nice about the hater you earn it you actually have to earn your hater. With a vision pulse, even the worst players, even if he was to go 3 and 23 for the whole game, he will still get his vision pulse at one point. How is that in any way fair? How is a streak what you earn for being good and for going on a streak and getting points in one life comparable to some for what you will earn throughout the match at least once, depending, doesn't matter how bad you will do it, you will play so you will earn it at least once. How is that even comparable? It's honestly stupid. You cannot compare a recon to a visa. It's just nowhere near at all. I don't care what anyone says. And people say, oh, well, you've asked Treyarch, a lot of people, and he said, no, yes, but that's one of the reasons why this game is dying, is because they're not listening to what the community wants. We want Ghost nerfed, we want the Titan nerfed, we want body armour and acoustic sensor gone, we want a hater, we want stuff like that. What do they give us? Zero. So they can hack our score streaks. No. It's not on, honestly, it's so frustrating trying to enjoy and play this game because there's so m this game has the most potential of a Call of Duty since Black Ops 3 in my opinion. It has so much potential to do well, it can easily be one of the best Call of Duties ever made. Yeah, honestly, I do think that, but they need to start listening to the community because they are not right now, they're not listening to the people who play their game. There's, people, there's YouTubers out there who whenever the new season's released, they instantly buy the $100 just to get the new weapon. We are, they're not listening to the people actually paying money into this game. We buy COD every single year. Why not just like reward a good player? There's so much to reward bad players out there. For example, like talk, reactor core, a dog. A dog is the most dumb thing in this game. You don't even have to control it. At the very least, at the absolute goddamn minimum with a Tempest, you have to press RT and LT your name. With a dog, all you have to do is slap RB, slap LB at the same time, and your dog runs around the map and gets kills for you. There's absolutely zero skill in that. Zero skill at all. And that's what's annoying about it, because like there's so much skillless stuff in this game, what makes the skill gap so damn small, you wouldn't even know a good player from a bad player. Ha! <sighs> Right, I think I've done my rant. If there's anything else you'd like to see change in this game, please feel free to let me know. This gameplay was actually a double nuclear of a Spitfire, what I did get in the last Chaos Control mode, and it's just about coming to an end. So thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one, and peace.